you can actually trace back the history of Europe, the history of America and so on, the UK. You just don't like what you see. Reinvested that money into infrastructure and building and housing and more factories and technology and so on. The five pagoda tempo that we just say we're now going for hot pot. Please welcome back to my channel. It is Ian here in Beijing and today, quick decision to leave the house, I've came here to a place called the Stone Art Carving Museum which is all these stone monoliths here that you can see. Um, just wanted to come out quickly go see something, decided to come here. Had my eye on coming to this place for a while, I just didn't have the time but today I thought yeah I'm going to go and have a look at that. In the middle is the key thing which I wanted to come and have a look at. In the centre of this area is a five pagoda temple. It's been here since 1403, something like that, the Ming Dynasty temple. It's been obviously destroyed a few times over the years, been rebuilt, but the, the actual temple and the carvings has remained intact and it's well preserved and protected. There is, you can see there's some replacement there, but it's something like a 1,500 and so Buddha's built into the temple. So I'm going to go have a look at that. Um, quite excited about that. Hope you'll come with me. It'll be a quick video today, just wandering around and recording some of the stuff and maybe come back to you with a few thoughts on the history of China and how that's reacted to when I share it with people. Yeah, have a look at this though. <laughs> One of the things that really impresses me with China is the when the money was coming in, when obviously the Western world started to invest in China and move their industries to China for that cheap labour, then the money was pouring in obviously to the, the, the country. But what really impressed me is that they reinvested that money into infrastructure and building and housing and more factories and technology and so on. But the other thing which cannot go unnoticed is the amount of money they poured back into um, sharing the history and bringing back to life all the historical artifacts and stuff that, that may have been destroyed during some of the more challenging times in China. Um, but you cannot ignore this sort of beauty and I, I wish the sky was blue so that I could take a better video or photographs for you because it is really quite peaceful here and I feel quite calm just walking around. I'm just about to go inside the pagoda and have a look there um, and then I'll come back out and talk to you again in a second or so. Thank you. 
So this is inside the Pagoda Temple, and you can see there there's um, Buddhas. There's actually four of them, but there's one on this side, uh, and obviously each of the four sides of this central pillar area. This actually reminds me of another video that I did maybe a year or so back, where I went to what's known as the Buddha Caves, which is about two hours outside Beijing. I recommend that video, in fact, I'll leave a link below if you want to go and see that video because it's very cool we actually went to massive these massive pagodas and buddha caves we managed to get a drone up that day because i was with a friend who had a drone that was pretty cool so i recommend that video if you're into uh, this sort of thing so um, please check that video out meanwhile i'm going to have another wander around and i'll share more with you very cool little thing this love it As I said, four, one on each side. <laughs> So often when I'm sharing things um, around the history of China and I talk about it going back thousands of years, in fact I believe it can go back for 5,000 years you can trace back the history of China, people will always pop on the comments below and start to say, yeah China's only 70, 75 years old and that doesn't make any sense to me when you say that sort of thing and you could do the same in the, the UK, Europe. US, you can trace history back thousands of years. The reason why you don't want to do that and you claim that China's only 75 years old is simply because you just don't like what you see when you trace back the history of some of these places in the West. For instance, if you trace back the history of America four, five, six hundred years ago, then there's no white people. It's uh, native Indian people and maybe Mexican people. So. Yes, you can actually trace back the history of Europe, the history of America and so on, the UK. You just don't like what you see, which is why you always deflect back and say, China's not five, four thousand years old. It's actually less than that. So that's one of the things I always pick up when I'm sharing such beautiful historical places like where I am now. So that was really cool, That I thoroughly enjoyed that, just exploring the outside of the temple around the, the perimeter where there was a lot of different stone carvings, carvings of animals and obviously some of the, the, the previous uh, dynasties and so on. So that was really cool, thoroughly enjoyed. I also enjoyed looking at the actual Five Pagoda temple and looking back on the history of that area. They actually could trace it back further than 1403 AD. It goes back beyond that, I think 1360s, 1350s, and they trace it back to obviously Indian influence because the Buddha came from India up across the Silk Road and so on, history of China there. But um, a lot of interesting things to see. Really enjoy the, the, the carvings of the Buddhas. There's something like 1,500 and so of different carvings, whoever counted them, brave man. Brilliant to experience. I hope you enjoy the video. Um, but this is me, Ian. I'm going to go and find Lisa, who was walking beside me, videoing me, videoing this. Anyway, as usual, look after yourself, look after your family, look after your community. Take care, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.
So after you go and see the five pagoda temple that we just said, we're now going for hot pot. I love hot pot. Thank <laughs> you.